Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali from to my channel and welcome to Beauty with the Purpose. So So today I have for you guys a products I'm getting rid of slash products I have used up. And so let's go ahead and get into the products that I've used up because there's not very many. Lots of lashes. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry for all the noise. I'll try to get rid of as much background noise as possible. Um, but my kids are up. So I usually I try to record later in the day. I did start super early before they got up. Then they got up while I was already in my groove of filming, so I just decided to roll with the punches. Okay, so a couple of brow pencils that I did go through are the Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil and then the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. Now this one is the tip that's like that. It's not like a regular brow pencil. And then this one was a little bit thicker. I think this one's like all the way gone. Yes, yeah, so like they're all like... Like there's product in there, but you can't get it out at this point. And so those are a couple of brow pencils that I went through. I really I really liked the formula of both of these. Um, I just have a few other brow pencils to go through before I purchase another one. So yeah, I did go through two brow pencils. Another thing that I went through, another thing that I went through is this e.l.f. lip liner in the shade dark brown. Like there's no scrape in that. My lips, like it's, it's not giving you nothing at this point. It's just taking off product. So yeah, I did go through one lip liner and then my sad, sad day when this happened and you can't even take off the lid to get off the rest of the product is my L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation and I had mine in the shade 460 and yeah, I used that all up but I do have so many foundations and I found a cheaper foundation that gives me the same exact effect of this one. Like, I mean, L'Oreal's drugstore, but let's be honest, it's not the cheapest. This is like an 11, 10, $11 foundation. I found a $5 foundation. You know what I'm talking about if you actually really watch me. Yeah, this is, um, this was great and I loved it and I rocked with it and I, yeah, but it's all gone. And I think that's the first time that I've ever gotten rid of a foundation. Let's talk about a couple of other foundations that I actually got rid of, but I don't have because they were trash. And so, um... I have a lot of makeup that was trash but for I remember specifically the foundations I got rid of and so the first one that I got rid of was the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation. It just didn't like it. It looked good when I would first apply it to my skin but it didn't look great all day because it is a little bit more on the matte side and y'all know I'm a lot of it on the dry side so it wasn't great. Another one that I got rid of was the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation and the reason I, I love that foundation for summertime the only reason I got rid of that foundation was because it was old I'm talking about since I started my YouTube channel old and I barely got rid of it like last month or the month before so it was very old and it was given to me by my sister Faith and I don't know how long she had it so ain't no telling how truly old that foundation was okay so another thing that I went through was a gar another Garnier Moisture Rescue um, face moisturizer this one was the blue one for normal to dry for normal to combo skin and so i did go through that that's one of my all-time favorite moisturizers so a pack of lashes that i went through and i'll try to insert pictures as well so you can see what they looked like was the kiss lashes in sultry like these really all my lashes just really got to a point to where i couldn't reuse them anymore and so one was the kiss lashes in sultry another were the kiss number 11 lashes and all of these lashes are my favorite and then i lost my ritzy pair so kiss lashes and ritzy the kiss lashes are also some of my favorite lashes because the bands are always super easy to work with okay now just some makeup that i've decided to declutter and get rid of um i've also gotten rid of a few other things i got rid of the milani rose blush i gave that to faith and then my wet and wild rose in the air palette i gave that to faith and then she also took my little kat von d um rust palette it was like the little one that was like a little coffin i gave that to faith so another thing that faith actually decided to take because because i just i don't like this for my lashes I have kind of short stubby lashes. I think this is beautiful on girls who already have the length and they just want to thicken their lashes up a little bit. And that is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. And it just looks like this. 
I don't like this. I feel like it makes my lashes look even shorter, just thick. So then they look just like chunk. It, it's just not cute and I don't like it. And I feel like this was pulling out my lashes. May not be for everybody, but I felt like it was just damaging my lashes even more. This is actually a brand new palette. And I don't recommend this palette. This is the NYX Ultimate Edit Palette and I have mine in the shade Bright. And these just didn't blend. They're not, they blended away, but like, if you're looking for a colored palette, just try the Profusion one or go ahead and spend the money on a more expensive colorful palette. But this was not the best. That's because I really wanted a bright eyeshadow palette. So a couple blushes that I'm getting rid of is this, this Wet n Wild blush. I have one in Mellow Wine, Rose Champagne. This is a blush, If this is a really good blush if you're really fair. I was trying to make it work like, um, like a highlighter but like once you get into it it does give off like a really peachy pink undertone and it's not great for my skin and then i'm getting rid of apricot apricot in the middle just because it is a little bit too light for my skin tone right now so a mellow wine was just a little bit too deep so yeah um rose uh rose champagne might work for you as a highlight if you're a little bit deeper than me another thing that i'm getting rid of and it's just because like i don't really reach for it and I did have my fun playing with this. And I've debated and debated and debated about getting rid of this. But this is the LA Colors Purple Eyeshadow Palette. And I just don't use purple enough, if that makes sense for me to keep it. So I love, these are things that I'm not throwing away, but I'm giving away. Just so that way somebody can get some better use out of them. Or they might have a different taste and things. So another thing that I'm getting rid of is this Wet n Wild Bronzer in the shade at Palm Beach Ready. Guys, these bronzers are more highlights for really deep skin tones because they are so stinking shimmery that it makes no sense to use this as a bronzer. Maybe a body bronzer, but even then, my body's not dark, dark enough for this. Like, <laughs> it's not. So, another thing that I'm getting rid of is this little Z palette, and it has a couple Makeup Geek eyeshadows in it and then a Makeup Forever eyeshadow in it. And I just reach for my palettes more than I reach for these. So this is what, but it's crazy because like all of these colors ugh, kind of coordinate with each other. So I did keep them together and I just wanna give them to somebody who would use them more than I would. Another thing I'm getting rid of, and this I should, uh, is this contour palette by IBY Beauty. And it just looks like this. I just don't use this enough or reach for it anymore. It kind of had its run like, we kind of had our run already together and it's just, I don't, it doesn't excite me anymore like it used to. So another thing, something that can excite somebody else, but it's just not exciting me right now. Okay. And then I, I'm getting rid of this beauty in sight eyeshadow and it's this one fell out, but I mean, it's still very usable. I don't, um, I'm just not, I don't, I don't know. I just, I just want somebody else to use it because I'm not using it is another reason why I'm getting rid of this one. So another palette that I'm getting rid of, well, for one, Hush Beauty or Hush.com isn't really a thing anymore. So they have this bad eye, this bad habit eyeshadow palette, which is pretty much just a dupe for the subculture Anastasia palette. And yeah, I just wasn't reaching for it. Somebody else could probably get even better use out of this and maybe be able to make it work better for them than I did. Because I realized I don't really use dark eyeshadows that much. <laughs> okay, another one that I'm getting rid of is this Focalure Beauty eyeshadow palette. So these eyeshadow pans are just super duper tiny. Like I believe for what the price you get of this, you could buy the e.l.f. palette that's in the same similar packaging with the same similar shades for a lot cheaper. And this only has two matte shades so definitely not my kind of eyeshadow palette okay the last eyeshadow palette that i'm getting rid of is this ulta beauty eyeshadow palette and i just don't reach for this it's really pretty it's really good quality i have used this a few times and so i think that somebody who maybe just wants to keep a dense makeup collection because it has a, a highlighter and a blush um can really get more use than out of this than I can but it's just not something that I reached for I don't really reach for only cool tone palettes but I like the option in a palette where if I want to do cool tones I can but if I want to do warm tones I can also stick to that oh one more eyeshadow that I'm getting rid of is this game night eyeshadow guys I'm just not going to reach for this color um and this was in my ipsy and this is their tetris collection I'm just not going to reach for that color 
getting rid of my Essence Pure Nude um, highlight and be my highlight because it's just way too light for me. It, it casts like a shadow on my face rather than highlight my face and you can see it. So I'm not really a big fan of that. Another eyeshadow I'm getting rid of is this Vincent Long eyeshadow. And this one is in the shade Don't Speak. And it's just a gray eyeshadow. Like I said, I'm not ever going to use or reach for a gray eye, single eyeshadow. So so first lip product, I'm getting rid of this Focal Lure Beauty, Focal Lure Beauty Lip Crown in the shade Smoky Carmen. Guys, I'm just really not a fan of Focal Lure Beauty. I'm keeping the, I'm actually going to get rid of the eye palette, the face palette too, because I have one that looks just like it. And so also this eyeshadow primer, because it, it's just really, really shimmery. It's a tinted eye primer, but it's it's shimmery. And, and it's a shade, so I mean like, that's more of a liquid eyeshadow than an eyeshadow primer. Getting rid of this e.l.f. lipstick in the, the shade Burgundy, I just don't reach for it and I would never reach for lipsticks, this lip lipsticks, lip glosses that are that dark. Another lipstick I'm getting rid of is a Kat Von D studded lipstick in the shade Underage Red. It's just a red lipstick. Gonna go ahead and get rid of that. I'm getting rid of this eyeliner because I'm not really a fan of shimmery eyeliners and this eyeliner has a lot of shimmer in it. And the last thing I will be getting rid of is this Ulta Beauty Lip Primer. I really didn't like it, really didn't see that it did anything for my lips. Don't feel like it helped my lipstick last any longer. And so the last thing that I was telling you guys that I was gonna get rid of, because I'm not really a fan of this brand and the way that they do their babe boxes, is this Focalure, and I feel like this is a cheat. Focalure, um, if you watch my makeup collection, it'll be in there, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of it because it looks exactly like the Ofra X Madison Miller collection, and I have that one as well, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. So, you guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick video of makeup that I'm getting rid of and makeup that I used up. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video of makeup that I'm getting rid of and makeup that I've used up. I'm constantly giving away makeup. I just won't give away makeup that I've used to you guys because if there's an eye infection or anything like that, I don't. Mm -mm. I'll just continue to give away $20 gift cards. So I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. And if you haven't already, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.